Hey guys, I'm back with another Webflow video. And before I actually dive into complex topics like components, CMSs, styles even, I'd like to just talk to the layman audience and basically just explain them how to create a site and how easy it is to create a site in Webflow. So in order to create a site, you basically just go and click on new site in your workspace. And once you've done that, it's gonna open a bunch of templates for you to use like a blank site template the portfolio starter business starter so on and so forth and then you have paid templates here as well that you can preview uh, and again these are really fancy as well so if I just go ahead and have a look at this one this is Prometheus as you can see this looks really good uh, some basic animation coming in we have a bunch of pages as well landing page one landing page two and stuff along those lines but for basic users who just want to explore they can just scroll down a bit more and they can see the free templates as well so some of the free templates i personally think are really great as well like this higher up template a bunch of these templates are really good so i'm just going to go and select one of them which is the higher up template so here's the template i'm going to say i can view it in the browser as well or i can just start using it for free i'm just going to use it for free it's going to ask me again are you sure you want to go ahead and create a site with this template i'm going to say create the site and it's gonna just ask me what the name of the site is gonna be. We're not gonna change it, just use it the way it is, just to show you how to go ahead and get started with your first site. And once you do that, you're basically gonna have that site done for you. So here's the site. We have a bunch of pages here, so I'm gonna go and press P. So we have the home page, the home page alternative page, as you can see. We have some other about pages, the browse page, the blog page, and all of that fancy stuff. And I personally think this page looks really good. So in order for you to just start using this website after you've made certain changes, like for example, you wanna change this text, you wanna change it to something else, this is an awesome website I designed. And you wanna change this text, change the links, do whatever, job opening section, stuff along those lines. Once you're okay with all of that, you can basically click publish to selected domains. And currently it's publishing to a Webflow domain, but you can also connect it to a custom domain which we can cover later on as well. Once it's published, you can basically just go on a page and start navigating. So here is your page. I think personally, it looks really good. We have these sliders as well, exciting companies. Again, a bunch of really clean and really fancy stuff. I can go on to the company, have a look at it. I can go on to the browse page to have a look at different things. I can go to the blog as well. And what's really interested in this particular template and a bunch of other templates as well is this is already linked to the CMS. So for example, if you wanted to create a site like this, just a block site, you can remove all the pages, just have this block site and basically feed the blog by the CMS. So I'm gonna go to the CMS. These are our blog items. As you can see, these are requiring names, slug, whatever, but I'm, I don't wanna edit, I don't wanna change the blog settings. I just wanna see the different items that I have in the blogs, like finding employees in the gig economy. So I'm just gonna click on that to open it, so read more. This is the blog. If I wanted to, let's say, change the title of this blog, I can just click it and I can just change anything that I want here, the images and everything. Again, as you can see, this is being fetched from the CMS. So again, it's really easy for you to start doing something like this. So once you have understood how easy it is to create a website and publish it and start using it on Webflow, there's another thing that's gonna be very handy for you when you actually wanna create something completely from scratch, let's say. Well, not completely from scratch, but maybe you wanna, let's say, include a carousel on this page or something, right? Or something else. So what you can do is you can click on the A button to go to the Add Elements panel. You can go to the Layouts. So as you can see, we have a starter library here. So I can click on it and I can see a bunch of elements that I can just place here. I can basically just drag and paste this particular element, let's say if I want here, and it's gonna have the team section here. And you're gonna say, well, I said this doesn't really look that good compared to the site that, you, that we have in front of us. And you're definitely right. But if you wanna do something and make sure that what you're adding is really fancy, you go to this layouts panel and let me just zoom in as well so you can see it a bit much better. And you click on browse more libraries. So here are a bunch of free libraries that actually have elements and sections and components and all of that stuff designed for you, which is pretty awesome. So the template that we were using, sorry, this, yeah, this template, free template that we were using was from Flowbase. So we can actually get the Flowbase component library as well. And we can have all of these elements 
within this available to us. So I'm going to say I want to install this library. Once I click on install the library, I can decide which uh, workspace I want to install the library in. And again, we want to uh, have the site selected as well, the one that we're going to use this in. And we can click on install. So it says flow component library was successfully added. I mean, is that crazy or, or something? Like how fast was this? So I'm going to go press A again. I'm going to, as you can see, I have the starter library. I'm just going to refresh it because I obviously did not get that library update immediately. Uh, I'm going to refresh it. I'm going to go and press A again, and I'm going to go to the layouts. And here we have the flow UI component. Now, if I wanted to add a banner at the top, I can. I want to add some navigation stuff. I can. It's pretty easy. I want to add the logos. No problem. I want to add something else like all of these buttons all of this fancy stuff is already in i mean can you believe it i want to add a add a modal or something i can just go ahead and drag this modal and paste it in so maybe wherever i want to maybe i want to place it somewhere here so here's the modal and i can obviously customize it as to what the heading is and all of that stuff but we can come to that later but basically what i wanted to mention here was I can add all of these things, header, navigation, feature section. Now imagine if I wanted to add a feature section. I don't have a feature section here. Maybe I want to go ahead and actually add a feature section in between this section. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to basically just drag this feature section. Where do I want to add it? Maybe somewhere below this section or maybe somewhere here and we can just reorganize it then. Maybe I want to add it here. Now, As you can see, we have a feature section which looks pretty cool and then I can go ahead and change the image so on and so forth so again this is how you easily create a site using a template and even if you don't want to use a template you can basically just use the libraries that are available tons of libraries free libraries that are available that have really polished components and you can custom and tailor make your site the way you want to obviously it's not going to be completely custom because you're going to be using pre-built components but I'm, I think it's a pretty good compromise if you don't want to use Webflow to the full extent and just create your own site or create sites for your clients. So that's going to be pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we'll hopefully be covering some of the selectors and the styling that you see on the right, and then maybe components as well. Or I can probably combine those videos too. So that's going to be pretty much it. Do subscribe, do hit the bell icon. Let me know if you found this video useful or if there's anything that you want to talk about and any other video suggestions that you want to have that you have or any other specific thing that you want to see me create next in webflow that's pretty much it i'll see you later take care bye